Hi everyone and welcome to my new YouTube channel and what will be my first hiking video. So I'm off on a mini adventure today, a two day hike, one night wild camp in the Peak District in Derbyshire. I've just left Lady Barrow Reservoir and my plan is to hike up to higher shelf stones and hopefully find the B29 air wreck as well. So thanks for joining me today on my journey and hopefully I can show you some hidden gems in the Peak District. Okay, so this brings me to my first checkpoint of the day. This is Alport Castles, uh, and behind me, hopefully, you can just about see the tower. It's quite a fascinating place to see, and I'll show you around in a moment. I've got blue skies behind me. Uh, I can't complain because it did forecast thunderstorms and rain all day, so this is beautiful. Tell you what there's so many amazing views around here uh, and that's what i love about it that's why i love coming out walking just to see these views visit the new locations um, and, and part of the reason why i've made this video is because when i normally come out walking i only take photos and what i generally find is the photo just doesn't do it justice and there's not a soul in sight i've seen two people since i set off this morning i'm just coming up to the trick point now I do love bagging trick points. Right, so I've just stopped for a bit of lunch now. I was gonna be peckish, I'm three hours in. So I've cooked myself a bit of couscous, Mediterranean, tomato and olive flavored. So uh, hopefully it's gonna taste nice. I'm ready for it anyway. Uh, and I got my favorite mug, my trusty mug. I don't know if you can read that, but it says, Andrew, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> Right, so I'm just taking a bit of shelter from the wind now. It's picked up a bit, but it's not too bad. Uh, I'm up on Bleak Close Stones now, and there's some fantastic views up here. If you just take a look around. And I finally met some other people as well. There's four men up here and a dog. It's nice to see someone after a while. I think I've gone probably three or four hours without seeing anybody. Um, I'm 16 kilometers in, five and a half hours in. Um, I would say I'm getting a little bit tired, but I'm still doing all right.
So I've managed to locate the B-29 Super Fortress, uh, the overexposed bomber, um, that unfortunately crashed here in 1948. Um, to be honest, it's, it's really sad. Um, it's quite eerie around here. It really is in the middle of nowhere. Um, like I say, it's really sad to see. And to think as well that 13 people very sadly lost their lives here. That's it. Finally made it. Fire shelf signs. So, I'm ready for something to eat. It's fair, I'm starving. <laughs> I've done uh, 22 kilometres today. Uh, been out for uh, like seven and a half hours. So, a real, real long trek today. Uh, but that being said, uh, I've enjoyed it, it's been a good day, the weather has held off, there's been a few spots of rain in the last 10 minutes, but to be fair, it's been dry all day. And this is my dinner for tonight, vegetable tikka with rice from Expedition Foods, so not had it before, um, but I'm hoping it'll be quite filling, they're supposed to be high in calories, so we'll see. And that's what it looks like, so, um, interesting. Okay, so whilst I'm waiting for sunset, I thought, given that this is my first hiking video, I thought it might be a nice idea to introduce myself and explain a little bit of why I'm actually here. So for me, I got into the outdoors about five years ago. Uh, in 2017, I became a Duke of Edinburgh leader and I help assist and now help lead groups of young people in the outdoors on different expeditions. So I started with the bronze expedition, we moved on to silver and now we're doing the gold expeditions too. Um, and that allowed me to see different areas of the country. I've been to the Peak District quite a lot and that's why I like coming back up here. Um, every time I come here I like to see different areas. Um, and it's, like I said, there's so many beautiful locations to visit. Um, I love the challenge of the outdoors, I love the challenge of hiking. Um, I like the idea that when you're on, <clears throat> on a journey, um, you can just focus on the task at hand. You know, looking where you're going, looking at the navigation. Um, and everything else at home, work, life, everything else, you can kind of put to one side. Right, I've made it through the night. Uh, we finally got that rain we were expecting. Uh, it came in the night, it was quite heavy at times, and it was quite windy too, so I didn't get the best night's sleep, unfortunately, but uh, I'm ready to go now, and as you can see, it's quite foggy. Okay, so my plan for this morning, I'm going to take the Pennine Way south um, and I'm going to come off and head down to Snake Woodlands. So I'll be passing the B29 crash site again, that's the first thing. Welcome to Snake Woodlands. Uh, this shore does make a bit of a change from the moorland I've been walking through. Looks like I wasn't the only one out while camping last night. So I thought I'd just stop for a minute. I'm uh, three hours into day two. I've walked nine kilometers so far. Doing quite well. Uh, the train's a little bit lower today, so not quite as demanding as yesterday. And I'm hoping I'll be finished around about one o'clock. So another three hours to go thereabouts.
Well, that rain's finally arrived. It's not too heavy, but I've put the rucksack cover on just in case. You can probably see it's still raining lightly, but I've not seen a soul all day. No walkers, dog walkers, hikers, anybody. So I'm back at Lady Barrow Reservoir again, where I started my adventure yesterday morning. Just to round up, I've been on a two day hike, covering 43 kilometres over the two days, and I've had a one night wild camp. I've been to lots of new places, seen some excellent sights, and I've thoroughly enjoyed my time. The weather's been pretty good throughout, so I can't complain, uh, and it's made for an excellent adventure. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll be back soon with more videos.